Hey everyone and welcome back to Phycology Today. Today we're venturing into the realm of a rare and perplexing neurological condition called akinetic mutism. Prepare to be intrigued as we unravel its symptoms, delve into its causes, and explore the challenges it presents. Number 1. A Walking Contradiction Imagine this. A person with open eyes seemingly observing their surroundings, yet their body remains eerily still, devoid of any spontaneous movement. They're unable to speak or respond to questions. This is the essence of akinetic mutism, a condition that presents a paradox of awareness and profound motor and vocal inhibition. It's like a waking sleep, a state where the person is trapped within their own body, unable to fully interact with the world. Number 2. Breaking down the lingo. Akinetic mutism is a powerful term that combines two key features. Akinesia refers to a severe lack of self-initiated movement. It's important to distinguish this from paralysis, where movement is physically impossible. Here, the person has the capacity to move but lacks the drive to initiate it. Imagine wanting to get a glass of water but being unable to muster the will to even lift your arm. Mutism, on the other hand, signifies the inability to speak. While some individuals may be able to utter a word or two with great effort, most are completely silent. Number 3. A spectrum of awareness, not a binary state. The level of awareness in akinetic mutism can vary on a spectrum. Some individuals may exhibit minimal responsiveness, barely reacting to external stimuli. Others can track objects with their eyes and even respond to simple commands with slow, deliberate movements. This variation makes it challenging to understand the patient's internal state and degree of comprehension. Are they simply disinterested or is there a deeper struggle to process information and respond? Number 4. Unveiling the culprits behind the curtain. Akinetic mutism can arise from a variety of insults to the brain. Damage to the frontal lobes, the seat of planning, motivation, and movement initiation, can be a culprit. Imagine the conductor of an orchestra being incapacitated, without their direction, the musicians, the body systems, struggle to perform their roles. Injuries to the midbrain, a region involved in motor control, or even conditions like encephalitis, which inflames the brain, can disrupt the intricate pathways responsible for movement and communication. Number 5. The Diagnostic Maze. Differentiating from look alikes Diagnosing akinetic mutism requires a meticulous neurological evaluation to differentiate it from other disorders that share some of its characteristics. Comes, for instance, involve a complete lack of awareness while locked-in syndrome leaves patients fully aware but unable to move due to paralysis. Akinetic mutism falls somewhere in between, making it crucial to assess the patient's level of consciousness through sophisticated techniques like brain scans and observing subtle eye movements. The absence of outward signs of awareness in akinetic mutism makes pinpointing the exact level of consciousness a significant hurdle. Number 6. Hope on the Horizon, Treatment and Future Directions There's currently no single cure for akinetic mutism. However, treatment focuses on a two-pronged approach, addressing the underlying cause, if possible, and maximizing any remaining capabilities. For instance, if a stroke caused the damage, medications or surgery might be used to address it. Occupational therapists can then help patients relearn basic skills, like self-care, while speech therapists work on improving communication, even if it's through nonverbal means like eye blinks or assistive technology. Brain stimulation techniques like deep brain stimulation are also being explored as potential avenues for future treatment. Number 7. A window into the brain's orchestra. A final thought. Akinetic mutism serves as a fascinating window into the intricate workings of the brain. It highlights the delicate interplay between different regions responsible for movement, communication, and awareness. While treatment options are currently limited, ongoing research into the causes and mechanisms of akinetic mutism holds promise for a better understanding and the development of more effective therapies in the future. By unraveling the mysteries of this condition, 
we gain valuable insights into the symphony of processes that orchestrate our thoughts, actions, and very sense of self. Number 8. A Spark of Hope, Stories of Resilience. Despite the immense challenges, there are stories of resilience and hope within the akinetic mutism community. Some individuals regain the ability to communicate with painstaking rehabilitation and technological advancements. Even for those with limited recovery, finding alternative ways to connect with the world, like through art therapy or music therapy, can bring a sense of purpose and joy. These success stories serve as a powerful reminder of the human spirit's ability to adapt and persevere in the face of adversity. Number 9. The Road Ahead. Advocacy and Research. Akinetic mutism is a rare and often misunderstood condition. Advocacy efforts are crucial to raise awareness, increase funding for research, and improve access to specialized care for patients and their families. Research into the causes and potential treatments for akinetic mutism is ongoing. With continued exploration, there's hope for developing more effective therapies in the future that could significantly improve the lives of those affected by this condition. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of akinetic mutism. Remember, even in the face of profound challenges, the human spirit can find ways to connect and adapt. If you or someone you know has been affected by akinetic mutism, please reach out to the resources listed in the video description for support and information. Until next time, take care.